right. So your perspective of hip hop for both of you is being real, being honest, and giving balance. We live in a world where that is not so. So what do you think the job is of an artist? Nina Simone once said it's the job of an artist to reflect the times in which they create their art in. So that's why she was very pro-black, pro-militant, pro-this, pro-that. I'm going to start with IT again. The sign of the times now is getting high, having sex, and not dealing with consequences. The counterbalance to that is financial literacy, faith, and being your own man or woman in business. What is the fine line an artist, not just an MC, but an artist walks when they have to portray their reality to their fans? And what is the responsibility of giving that reality to your fans? Mm, that's real. I feel, personally, I feel an obligation to give reality to my fans, you know, at all times. Like, it's hard, it's difficult to, to even put your finger on what is being real. Because sometimes being, you, some people would say, I'm being myself by being this way. You feel me? Even though you don't agree with it, I, I'm being myself, so I'm being real. Okay, you know, you can have that. Uh, but for me, I have to be real f to the standards that I kind of was raised under um, and the values that I see really important in life. I see value in being faithful. I see value in being loyal to people. I see value in giving to the community. I see value in being honest with, with yourself and speaking your truth because I've lied before. And like living a lie is corny as hell, you feel me? So it's like, to me, I could dye my hair pink and still give you the real me, you feel me? It's not fake, like this is actually how I'm feeling right now. I feel like showing you my actual emotion. I feel like giving you all, everything that's in my heart right now, wearing it right on my fucking head, how about that? You feel me? Like, and when you hear my music, you gonna know that I really wrote it from something of passion, that it meant something. You feel me? Not that I was just writing it to, you know, just to, to stun on niggas or whatever. Like, you can stun all day, but like, I mean, the cast is really winning. It's it's evident even on the radio. The cast is winning. It's talking about what they really feeling. You know what I mean? Shout out Drake, even, you know, XXX, you know, rest in peace, man. These, these cats was talking about feelings, bro. You know what I mean? And that's, that's how I feel. It's really important to be real about that. Mice, I'm gonna ask you that same question, but I wanna put something that, that I've noticed on camera that's different than what I see in person. Nice, you have a very serious demeanor that's very heartfelt. You are an emotional creature. You are somebody who's very hard on the outside with your feelings and emotions really run who you are. Am I, am I correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see it in, in your face because you have a very strong face. You you, you are like making this Phyllis Wheatley Sojourner Truth face looking out the window <laughs> and stuff. So I, so I want to ask you that, that same question, but in a more respectful way. Okay. Truth is what a person feels, not what a person can understand. Right. How do you give your feeling in the hopes that people will understand that this is really you and not a facade of what they think a woman is? <laughs> to finish, most people, you can't, a man can't tell a woman how to be a woman. Right. But a man can appreciate the woman by the honor in which she holds her face. Right. So how do you portray that truth so that you can be honored not only musically but as the woman who's expressing herself. It's funny you talk about truth a lot because that's going to be my next tattoo. <laughs> I'm going to just say that and when I think about truth, I break it down and I'm going to say, I'm gonna say that because to me, truth and acronyms, which is going to be my next tattoo, just wait for it. Mm. Truth is the real upon the hate. Now, understand, everybody going to have their opinions. That's like, like, that's life. But to me, it, the truth is the people who can still walk around and still be them and it not matter. Mm. That's deep, because you know what? Oh, yeah. In philosophy, there's a belief that says we're always actors. Right. And we always play a part to the people that we're around. It is the true actors that know how to play the roles consistently 
to where when the cat when the crowd changes, you don't change. Right. And we always have an issue when somebody acts funny, right. or they don't <laughs> play their part, right. yeah. or they or, or they can't fit into a new crowd. Right. Music is the same way. Music has to transcend the street, and it also has to transcend what goes on within your own mind. So as a woman, as an MC, as an artist, what does it mean to you when people feel your music and can rap and sing that song that you made and it means so much to them? That, that's, what I, that's what I do it for. So that means everything to me. That's my goal. I want you to rap along. I want you to sing along. I want you to fill in words because I felt that. When I wrote that, I felt that. So for you to rap it and sing it, for you to know it, you felt that too. So that means we got a connection. You may not know me, but you know these words, and I wrote these words. So, so that's that. Like that's how I gotta see it. Like okay. The um the funny thing about the biology of society is. We all feel the same things. We just interpret them different ways. Right. So when the person says, I'm the hardest MC ever, there's somebody who really feels they're the best at something and they want to be the best. Right. But there's also songs that we may wear songs like Song Cry, where somebody really has to sit down and be like, yo, I've been in relationships that really tore me up too. Right. IT, what does it mean to you to make a song where somebody can really sit down and be like, yo, that's incredible and I feel that? How does that mean to you? Man, that's... There's a, there's only there's certain types of songs that I that I write that do that and um, it reminds me that it reminds me of why music is really needed in the world you know what I mean um, it's a it's that vibration of when you're giving off something and somebody's reflecting that same vibration that hits inside of them and y'all like you said you have a connection because that's what this life is about in, 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 in the first place is just connecting with people and sharing that energy and uplifting each other so like when you could bring what you feel is your gift right because we we out here everybody got a tool a weapon of some sort of, you know i feel that this is mine and what i feel like god wants me to do with it is create something that strikes a chord with people and when i feel that i that i've done that not only do i feel like wow that was awesome for me as a person a great experience but i feel like i'm doing what God wants me to do on top of it. So it's just like a, mm, mm, you know what I mean? Like it's a, it's real sweet, real sweet. So yeah, it's a, it's a good feeling, man. I feel that. But see, now this interview has gone the way where, like I said, I don't know your music. So I usually ask people about the music. So I'm gonna ask you, please, can you send me some of your music? And uh, tell me, we'll put it in this um, interview. And um, there's something that just strikes out, sticks out to me. A lot of people do not respect the new age of music. And the reason why is because it's so cookie cutter. Um, what does it mean to be of this generation but not to be of this generation? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, because yeah, sure. I mean, everybody does the workflow or everybody's either the Migos who's rehashed 80s cadences or the broken, the broken language rap floor that has the repetitive duh, 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 duh. Yeah. And I ask you that question because a lot of new age artists don't respect the older music. And it was, I heard Nas do a song with the Migos and he just did, did, did their flow. Mm -hmm. And it was like incredible. I was like, see, that's an MC. Mm -hmm. So he can go right. in between and all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And even as a woman, I'm going to ask you, have you ever heard of Blinds Brixton? Yeah. Great MC, I think I have in the UK. She just saw a Method Man. She's like really good. Yeah. And not to have the Cardi B Migos flow or the Nicki Minaj broken Barbie flow. She's straight lyrical. Mm -hmm. So as being an artist who will be considered new age, what does it mean for you to be of this generation but not to blend into the generation where you're being new? Uh -huh. Word. Well, I, I feel uh, blessed to, be, to have been born at the time that I was born because I felt like the, the music I was actually growing up with was like, it was just on its way out of like a really influential time for a writer. You feel what I'm saying? Like not just for music and what you like in music, but for a writer's growth. I caught like the tail end of where people were really styling lyrically, like going off and every punchline mattered, every line. Like you had dudes like Fabulous that was crushing them like with mixtapes. So like that was the energy that, 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 uh, that made it for me. And 
So that's what inspired a lot of my writing pen. I've kept that inspiration all of this time. So I'm now learning to bend punchlines, simplify punchlines, just say slick shit, but to do it in, uh, in, a, in a harmony that's gonna rock on the radio, to do it in the cadence of what's a popular flow right now, to change my vocal style a little bit and adjust within myself, you know what I mean, to, to be more relevant to what people are listening for right now because the way that I see it is if this is what you wanna hear, you can hear that and still get something, like if, if you get the pen that I'm bringing to the table, like imagine your favorite artist but with a crazier pen. That's how I'm trying to bring my shit. You feel me? That's what you like to hear? I got that with a crazier pen. Like you said how you felt when Nas got on that record. It's like, yo, I like that style. Amigo style is crazy. Nobody gonna deny that. But to hear somebody like Nas get on that shit and tweak on it, you like, mmm, like, it's like brings a whole new energy to it again. So that's how I feel what I'm here to do. I'm here to bring a new energy to sounds that we're listening to right now. That, that 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 is what inspired me to make music in the first place. So, yeah, that's that's what I feel is to be from the generation, but not all the way there. Yeah. Same question. Well, I like I like the way you put it. I, I'm from this generation, but I'm not of this generation because I take it back to really into the Bible. I'm from this world, but I'm not of this world. I say it like that. So to me, with music, I'll just put it like this: like I got an old soul. So I'm not really, I'm from this generation, but the way my heart beat, it, it got a different rhythm. Like I'm trying to tell a different story than what most of my generation is doing right now. So that's that's basically how I explain that. Like I'm, I'm trying to send a different message. Like I, I'm, I'm gonna put it like this. I was just listening to this instrumental the other day um, and it kind of sampled, uh, I think it's a king stand by me like and it touched my heart so much like i'm like yo i gotta like do something to this. so like i'm gonna say that like my soul be different than this generation 